You know, it's always been so funny to me how Americans and people in the UK have different meanings for the word chips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Especially when it comes to fish and chips. Mm. We are off to Grimsby, England to catch a recipe from a historic seafood company. From its humble beginnings as a white bait business in 1805, Young's has set the standard for seafood specialties for centuries. And it all began remarkably in the 1800s with one woman, Elizabeth Young. We're incredibly proud to have been started by a woman in an industrial England 200 years ago. And our packs still bear Elizabeth's name to this day. Always the innovators, Young's Fish for Life sustainability program responsibly sources their seafood to ensure they know exactly where their fish originates. The UK is the world's capital for fish and chip. Every household would have eaten, purchased, grown up on Young's products, including cod and chips, chunky fish fingers, our children's product, flipper dippers, and beer battered cod. And my favorite product is the chunky fish fingers. It reminds me of being young again. At their Ross House headquarters innovation center, Young's head chef shared the secret behind an iconic UK concoction. This is a classic British dish, fish and chips with mushy peas. And I'm going to show you how to make it. So we got the fish, we're going to spread the chips on a baking tray. So you cook the fish and chips on the rack. And the good idea of the rack is the air will circulate and make the batter very crispy. So I'm going to put this in the oven. With this recipe, what I like is, is putting a little, a little twist. So we're putting some mint and tarragon. So we're going to chop this quite fine. So we're using frozen pea, and frozen pea which has been freshly frozen. So we're going to boil this for a couple of minutes. The peas are boiling. It's ready to, to be crushed. So now we're going to put some seasoning, salt and pepper, a little bit of the butter, melted butter, which will give some uh, quite a nice richness. Then crush it. Then you add the, the herbs, a lash of vinegar. Then you just have a good mix. Uh, you, can, you, you can hear the crunchiness and you can smell the beautiful smell of a, of, of a crunchy battered fish. So you just uh, put this here, then some of the... So you can see nice chunky chips, which is a traditional chips in Great Britain. Then your, your crushed peas, voila. Then a little bit of lemon, voila. And that's it, you got your fish and chips with crushed peas. Okay, and now we're going to taste Listen, you can hear the crusty batter just collapsing on the, under the knife and the beautiful flesh of the fish. So let's taste it. Yeah, great. I mean, you can taste, you know, the flakiness, the moisture and the lovely batter who enrobe all the fish, I mean, and crunchy. Then the peas, crushed peas, with the mint do, does give a little lift to it, and it's quite fresh and natural, which is great. Um, if you don't mind, I'm having more. You know, it's, it's like having a little bit of Britain in your own kitchen. I mean, what else do you want? <laughs>